If it had been damaged by a hurricane or a tornado or ravaged simply by old age, there would likely be no problem getting the money to fix it. But the federal courthouse in Pensacola was damaged from within by mold and a poor design. So there have been no funds and the building's been vacant now for more than a year. Today, Florida Senator Marco Rubio walked through the courthouse to learn more. But we pay every month. Every month, yes sir. <laughs> Taxpayers do. Senator Marco Rubio toured the vacant courthouse today where the mold is so bad that some rooms are cordoned off, where the dehumidifiers hum, and where Chief Judge Casey Rogers felt the need to don a mask. She told the senator that she finally decided to try to close the courthouse several years ago after someone in her courtroom for a trial got sick. He knew nothing of our courthouse situation. He said there must be something in the air uh, in this courthouse. He said, I have one collapsed lung. And he said, I feel like I'm about to lose the other one. And he was really sick. I stopped. That, that was the last hearing I held in, 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 in this courtroom. After a study ruled the building dangerous, it was vacated last summer. Most of the functions moving down the street to the Arno Federal Building. In the meantime, the federal government continues to pay rent on the courthouse. So every month, this empty building here and its owners are receiving a check from you, the federal taxpayer, in exchange for us having to get nothing out of this building and having to work somewhere else. There are two problems at play. One, unlike most courthouses, the federal government doesn't own the building. And two, its contract says that the tenant, in this case the federal agency known as the General Services Administration or the GSA, and not the owner, is responsible for all building maintenance. It's the contract the GSA signed. Truth be told is the GSA waited far too long to jump on this. And there are good people working there, but I imagine their view of it was, uh, we don't want to go to Congress and ask for more money on a building we don't even own. So while the funding process plays out, the building stays empty, the taxpayer keeps paying rent, and the work backs up. At the now closed courthouse, there were five courtrooms and a grand jury room. Here at the federal building, there's just one and a half courtrooms, and that slowed down the docket and delayed justice. The building opened in 1999, and the mold now in the baseboards and the walls and the vents started showing up about five years later. And it was just ignored for far too long. And had, had they gotten on top of it 10 years ago, 8 years ago, the remediation might have cost less. But mold spreads, and, uh, and that's what's happened here, unfortunately. Now, it's estimated it will cost $32 million to remediate the mold. The expenditure still needs the approval of House and Senate Committee Chairman. Rubio says he thinks that can happen soon. If it does, it should take about 16 months then to bid out the project and get the building habitable again.